Hi Mr. New Mobile here. Google Pixel 4 Review. As we all know yesterday, Google launched their ever-waiting Google Pixel 4 with all good pleasure. Please subscribe followed by the bell. You can also keep up on Facebook, Twitter by clicking the Google Pixel 4 it gives you the best of Google in an affordable, one-hand friendly package. There's slick Google Assistant integration, a clean Android interface with three years of guaranteed updates, and a seriously impressive photography experience, considering the Pixel 4 has just one rear camera. However, pull out the spec sheet and compare it to similarly priced rivals, and the Google Pixel 4 it doesn't seem like such a great deal, with less power, less RAM, fewer cameras, a smaller screen and number 5G connectivity, although a Pixel 4 or 5G variant arrived, alongside the Google Pixel 5, which will also be 5G enabled. Battery life is mediocre, with the phone just about lasting a day on a single charge, and if you really push it, you'll be reaching for a charger come late afternoon. The design will be divisive. On the one hand it's a cutesy, to see curvy polycarbonate handset that sits comfortably in the palm, and its lightweight frame makes it easy to hold and use. There's a rear-mounted fingerprint scanner, there's almost no screen bezel, and there's even a headphone jack. On the other hand, it feels a little cheap, and it lacks the premium gloss or 4 you'll need to carefully consider what's important to you when it comes to a new smartphone. If you're looking for maximum bang for your buck and features galore, the Pixel 4 is unlikely to whet your appetite. That said, its compact size, clean interface and great point-and-shoot camera will appeal to those looking for an affordable, reasonably sized handset with enough grunt for social media, web browsing and emails, plus the ability to capture some excellent pictures. Google Pixel 4 Price. 300 If you want the Pixel 4a, you'll have to sacrifice choice for that low price tag. That's a competitive price point, and one that's $50 50 pounds AU $50 cheaper than the launch price of its predecessor, the Google Pixel 3a. You also get more RAM, 6GB versus 4GB, and more storage, 128GB versus 64GB, with the Pixel 4a, so Google is giving you a decent amount of bang for your buck, at least within its own ecosystem. It's also comfortably cheaper than its flagship namesakes, the Pixel 4 and Pixel 4 XL. Trouble is, the Google Pixel 4 is playing in a highly competitive middle market and is up against some handsets with far more impressive spec sheets, the likes of the OnePlus Nord, Reem X 55G, Moto G 5G Plus and Mi Note 10 Lite can dazzle consumers with their multiple cameras, larger screens and 5G connectivity. While the handset itself won't differ between regions, when you can actually get your hands on it will depend just two cameras. 12.2 MP on rear, 8 MP on front. Impressive image processing produces high-quality snaps. Night sight produces decent low-light shots. The Google Pixel 4 is in the minority when it comes to cameras, having just two. One on the back and one on the front. There aren't too many other phones with so few cameras, especially in the crowded mid-tier, where manufacturers tend to scatter cameras around like confetti in order to try and make their handsets stand out, although the new iPhone SE is another. On the back you get a 12.2 MP camera with a f1.7 aperture and an 84 degree field of view. It can shoot 4K video at 30 FPS, 1080p at 30 FPS, 60 FPS and 120 FPS, and 720p at 30 FPS, 60 FPS, and a super slow 240 FPS. While it may not look like much on paper, especially when compared to the 3 and 4 camera setups on the back of many of the Google Pixel 4a's rivals, this main camera can still hold its own. The Pixel 4 makes photography easy jazzing, means you'll get a great photo in many scenarios. There are a handful of modes to choose from if you want something slightly different, including panorama and portrait, the latter of which produces a background blur effect using purely AI, as there's no depth sensor on the Pixel 4a. The results from both are good, and portrait mode is especially impressive given the relatively simple hardware on offer. If you look carefully, you can see some of the stitching in panoramas, especially if you don't have the steadiest hand when shooting, and the background blur sometimes isn't as precise around your subject, depending on how complex the shape is. That said, for a handset with such an affordable price tag, the photography prowess is still impressive. Forgot to switch to portrait mode. You can apply a bokeh effect to photographs you've already taken even ones from years ago, taken with a different device by heading to the Photos app, tapping Edit, and then using the blur slider to create the effect. We tried it with a couple of snaps we'd taken while reviewing the OnePlus Nord a couple of weeks previously, and the Pixel 4 was able to apply the background blur to the images without too much trouble. Matic area of the image to bring up the dual exposure controls and adjust the brightness of just that part of the frame as part of the Pixel 4a's Live HDR++ feature. This gives you a live preview for a better idea of how the final shot will look. 
should last a full day with average use no wireless charging, but fast 18W charger in the box gaming and video playback, significantly drain battery the Google Pixel 4 comes with a 3140 mAh non-removable battery, which is larger than the power pack in its predecessor, and much larger than the 1812 mAh battery in the new iPhone SE. Google claims you'll get up to 24 hours of battery life from a single charge, thanks to the firm's adaptive battery technology, although we didn't quite manage to achieve that. We did find that the Pixel 4 attended to make it through a full day, from 7 a.m. to 11 p.m., with average use, although we'd regularly turn in for the night with the battery level in the low teens, and sometimes even single digits. This was with the always-on display activated, and switching it off did result in slightly better battery life, although we were still ending the day below. Napdragon 730, 6 g 4 comes with enough power to ensure you can do everything you want on the phone. You get a Snapdragon 730 chipset, 6 GB of RAM and 128 GB of storage, of which around 108 GB is actually available to you. These specs are more than acceptable at the Pixel 4a's price, but an issue arises if you start to look around, because in terms of the spec sheet the Google Pixel 4 is outgunned by rivals in a number of ways. There are plenty of similarly priced handsets offering newer chipsets, more RAM, and a variety of storage options, not to mention a whole array of cameras. Google isn't being drawn into the specs arms race, and that may make it harder for the Pixel 4 to stand out. It can handle any app or game that you run, but you may find that some take a second or two longer to load than you'd like, especially big online games or intensive applications. Well having be said. Please subscribe, like the video.